Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create and utilize the date range filters within the Google Data Studio. So date range filter is, is an amazing filter, I would say, because what it has is almost uh, entire functionality which you usually see in any Google report. So if you have been a Google user, the various platform that it provides, then you know that it shows the last seven days information or last 30 days, things like that. Also, you have the option of, cho of uh, choosing uh, the date range based on your own requirement. So how you can do that is by simply dragging this date range filter, uh, first selecting that and then putting it wherever you want. So let me put it over there and it creates the date range. So if I go into the view mode, since this report contains the information from 2009 to 2012, we can always select a particular range by selecting over here 2010 January 1st. Similarly, for end date, we can go back, select 2010 December and 31st. Click apply. Once we have clicked on this information, your report, which is which are or your charts which is present over here will be filtered based on the report that you have or the dates that you have selected. So this is one of the option that you have is the fixed in as I mentioned it has couple of other options like last 7 days, 14 days, 18 days, 30 days so on and so forth for your for your report that you can apply and uh, get those dynamic results out and this type of uh, of uh, you know date range filter is also present in various tools like this intelligence tool for example personally i have seen it in the uh, salesforce as well as in some of the other crms where this type of information is given where your relative dates are present and then your report is automatically filtered based on that date range but that's about how you can create and utilize the date range filter within your reports. And with the help of those relative dates, you can, or the date range, you can get the desired output. So that's about it. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.